She's so beautiful. I mean, how can you say no to this face? Hey there, hackers. I'm Goldie Blocks, and I love to make stuff. I'm an engineer, which is basically an extreme life hacker. It also means I can make stuff, do stuff, and I'll show you how. In this video, we're gonna be making three awesome DIYs to kick off the summer. Time to hack your world. the first week of summer, so I wanted to do something super cool with solar energy, because there's plenty of sun at the beach, right? Well, now when the moon comes out, good thing there's a hack for that. Introducing solar party lights. For this DIY, we'll use a solar lawn lamp, colorful sand, glass beads, glue, clear jars, and some fun stuff to fill the jars with. First, you're gonna drill a hole in the cap. I named the beautiful drill Felicia. You can be scared of Felicia. She's sassy, but productive. <laughs> Safety first. So we're gonna take Felicia. And there you go, there's a hole. Use pliers to make the hole big enough for your light to fit into. Next, glue the light to the top of the lid. After we're done, we'll screw it back on to make it light up. Put some sand at the bottom of the jar. This will weigh it down, plus it looks super summery. Then add your decorations. Now screw on the cap and let it charge in the sun. Solar cells convert light energy into electricity. The longer you wait, the more power it will have later. So cool, right? If you don't want to use them as party lights, you can use them as drums. If you don't have any friends, you can have a party by yourself. Sometimes your own company is the best company. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can't get my summer on without two things, music and sunglasses. Now you can have both at the same time. Musical sunglasses. This DIY is super easy. All you need are sunglasses, some colorful tape, and a pair of earbuds. Victory. You can also use glue, beads, and scissors. First, Tape the earbuds to the temples of your glasses. Make sure you leave enough cord to reach your ears. You can totally just leave it like this, but if you want to get more fun, take some beads and add them to your frames. If you want, you can even glue other stuff to it. So the cool thing about these is when you're done blocking out the haters, you can put them down and they double as a lanyard. They're not going anywhere, they're waiting for you. But wait, what happens when your phone runs out of battery? What? Pocket phone charger. For this DIY, you're gonna need an Altoids tin, a nine volt battery, a battery plug-in with wires, an old car charger, electrical tape, and your phone. This one takes some cutting and dissecting. So get someone to help you cut a little rectangle for the USB. Take apart the car charger with pliers and carefully take out the insides. I think people are sometimes intimidated by wiring stuff, but it can actually be super easy. Now we're ready to assemble. Attach the black wire to the negative end. Then the red one onto the positive end of the charger here. Tape all of those connections so they are secure. Then plug your battery into the battery plug-in. Electricity! Next, place the battery and charger inside the Altoids tin. Do it like this so the end of the charger lines up with your rectangle opening. The battery should fit perfectly, but go ahead and tape down the wires with electrical tape. And that's it! If you want, you can just leave it like this, or decorate it and make it unique. Best of all, it actually works. Now you've got a pocket-sized battery to take with you anywhere. Summer vacation, here we come. So which one of these DIYs is your favorite? I guess mine was the pocket phone charger. I named him Frederick. He's from France. Bonjour, mademoiselle. We like on de fromage. I made his hand like super pointy. He like my French salt bay, like Frederick. He's a gymnast. 
Oh God, don't stop. He is your best friend and he'll charge your phone so you can keep up with your other friends. <laughs> Tell me your favorites in the comments below and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to be part of the Goldie Squad. Till next time, hackers, Goldie Blocks and Frederick signing off. When you're done blocking out the haters, you can take them off. Normal sunglasses, right? Well, they don't chill there. They're not hacked. They're not a lanyard. Oh, I lost my drill. That's Goldie's, cause it's a mess.